Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball 5 box half case random team break number 8. One spot gets you three teams in this break. No vet common ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's triple you up right there. Thanks everyone for making this go. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Two and a three, five times each. One, two, three, four, five. We got Rick down to Rick after five. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. Marlins down to Red Sox after five. All right, Rick with the Marlins, Matt with the A's, Rick with the Tigers and Rays, Johan with the Rockies, Isaac with the Cubs, Connor with the Nationals, Johan with the Yankees and Rangers, Robert with the Guardians, Connor with my Dodgers, Isaac with the Padres, Brandon with the Mariners, Chris with the Royals and Astros, Isaac with the Brew Crew, Joshua with the Mets, Chris with the Orioles, Joshua with the Jays, Brandon with the Cardinals, Rick with the White Sox, Robert with the Braves, Brandon with the Diamondbacks, Joshua with the Giants, Matt with the Twins, Rick with the Reds, Connor with the Angels, Robert with the Phillies, Matt with the Pirates, and Rick Thomas. He got the Boston Red Sox. That's right, old Ben has, has his own show now, Mike. Obi-Wan Kenobi, now that is a name I have not heard in a long time long time all right we're going to pause the video when we come back we're going to see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break stick around all right welcome back everybody we've unpaused the video no deals were done so the list remains the same big thanks everybody for getting in this is connor's uh first break there is there is such a thing as new guy mojo. We've seen it happen before. You've got got a nice little draw there on those teams. So let's see how it works out for you. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for joining us for the first time and good luck. There, remember I marked uh, that half case number eight when we did break number seven. So this is the second half of that case. We got another half case loaded up. If you want to run this back, pretty good price point. One spot, three teams is not too bad. So. It's a pretty fun break, too, I want to say. It's a little on the longer side, but, but it is fun to do. Now, my tower was, uh, yeah, we did, I, I saw this today. I did not, uh, get it, we did not get a chance to talk about it, but thankfully we're doing this nice little baseball break here. Roger Clemens' son, his youngest, I believe, I think is getting called up this week. Cody Clemens, third base outfielder. So more, more, he's a hitter, not a pitcher. I think there are a few Clemenses, Clemi in the league, right? I want to say Casey Clemens with a K, K-A-C-E, is in the Blue, Blue Jays organization. And I want to say there's another Clemens out there with another K name. Get it because Roger Clemens K's a lot of guys. I feel like there's a third, third Clemens out there, knocking around in the in the minor leagues or something like that. We got mm, photos saying he has a son on the Staten Island Ferry Hawks Atlantic League. Only two sons are in it. Gotcha. Gotcha. There you go. Mike's got some additional st stuff for us. He's a third round pick in the 2018 amateur draft. Clemens was hitting 283 at Toledo. Mud Hens with uh, eight homers and 31 RBIs in 45 games. That's pretty good. Drafted his second baseman. He's played first, second, third, left the season. Ah, nice little name drop there. Hanging out with Roger. First name basis too. Two weeks ago, great guy. Yeah, he must be he must be a pretty proud pop. 
So is so is it just Cody and Casey then that are in the that are in that are knocking around in the in, in baseball? I don't know. If, I don't know if Casey has seen seen time yet. Only Cody and Casey, right? Oh, and our first autograph. That's for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Rick Serrano. And that is Jose Barrero. And we got Manny Machado to 150. That'll be for the Padres. That's going to go to Isaac. And of course, these will ship. Did you see uh, our Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks? I think one of the guys on the Personal Breaks channel pulled a one of one of this little mini of Wander Franco. That was pretty cool. This is for the Rays. That'll be for Rick and the Rays. Not numbered, unfortunately, but still nice. There's Ryan Weathers to 199. It's for Isaac and the Padres. Joe Clemens, is there a Joe Clemens out there? Gilo Singh. There's Ian Anderson to 250. Robert with the Braves. Jose Altuve mini. How many? Auto? There's two, right? Okay. Yeah. We're looking for one more auto. Cal Raleigh to three ninety-nine. That is for the Mariners. That'll be for Brandon. Got Andrew Benintendi to one fifty. He's been doing all right this season, Andrew Benintendi. And Christian Yelich. That's a nice autograph. Black and white. Christian Yelich for Isaac and the Brew Crew. 45 out of 50. That's sharp. Local guy here in the Los Angeles area. All right, next box. Does the sorting team sort out variants like city uniforms, team logo swaps, Jackie Rollinsons? Yes, I hope. I mean, I hope so. I try to catch as much of that as I can. Whatever I don't catch, the shipping team does. Yeah, he's got a really clean autograph. Christian Yell, it's nice. 
if if we had a if we had a Jaspie's autograph camp, he would be definitely be invited as a as a speaker slash instructor for sure. Next box. Here we go. And we got Zach Plesak. That's uh, Dan Plesak's nephew? Is it Dan? He's on MLB Network. Here's a uh, no-name front. Variation here, Blake Snell. Padres for Isaac. something that looks a little different or is that just a weird card from the printing process do all the Clark Schmitz look like this I don't remember You sure did, Adam. You sure did. There's Bobby Dalbeck to 150. I mean, they went, they went up pretty quickly, and they, they never relinquished that lead. Ooh, is that out? Gone. Nice, that one reels. The dinger for the Dodgers. All right, that Dalbeck will go to Rick and the Red Sox. Big autographer. I like the big use of the canvas here. Lewin Diaz. For the fish, that's going to go to Rick Thomas and the Marlins. Uh, 
All right. Next box. Yeah, I wonder what the what the series are series odds are for the New York Rangers to beat the Hurricanes in Game Seven tonight. For the New York Rangers to uh, to beat the Lightning. The Lightning are a pretty tough team, but the Tampa Bay's kind of had a I feel like they've been off for a little while, right? Does maybe a little rust come into play? At least for Game One. Right, did they sweep Florida? So yeah, so they, they've been... Uh, they had a nine day rest? Next box. And we've got Taylor Walls for the Rays. That's for Rick in Tampa Bay. Mm, Jake Berger. Burgers. To 150. Mmm, burgers. Should be, there should be like a Jake Burger and Seth Beer dual auto. That would be great. White Sox, that's going to be for Rick S. Or somehow Jake Burger and Seth Beer has to, have to end up on the same team at some point. There's uh, Jake Cronenworth, 250. There's a guy in the class whose last, last name is Pi. We, we looked it up, G-Lo. It's P.A. It's just like old Felix P.A. back in the day. Or no, maybe we just, maybe we saw that PA had the accent, Felix PA had the accent on his, on the E, but this current PA does not. So it could be Pi for all we know. Doubt it, but it could be. I'll we'll have to get an official media guide from the team that he's on. There's Rizzo for Johan and the Yankees. Swing and miss. 
Max Scherzer. No name on the front there for Rick and the Tigers. Isaac Paredes. And a blue border auto, Greg Diekman. Greg Diekman? Gary? Greg. First instinct was right. 27 out of 150 um, for the Cubbies. That'll be for Isaac and the Cubs. All right, two more boxes to go. All right, except for this Dodgers game that you're hearing in the background, Pirates are up 4-3 on the Dodgers in the seventh, but God, the Dodgers could easily crawl back here. Let's check out some finals. Diamondbacks, Braves. Diamondbacks beat the Braves 6-2. What's going on with the Braves? Uh, Rangers beat the Rays 9-5. Brewers beat the Cubs 3-1. Mets pounding the Nationals 13 to 5. Orioles shutting out the Red Sox 10 nothing. Guardians beat the Royals 7-3. Rockies beat the Marlins 7-1. Astros beat the A's 5 to 1. Giants beat the Phillies and Extras 5-4. Phillies bullpen they're undoing once again. Cardinals beat the Padres 6 to 3. I think Nolan Gorman had a 3 for 3 day today. Tigers beat the Twins 7-5. Brewers edged out the Cubs 7-6. Oh, that was a doubleheader. And then uh, Pirates currently leading my Dodgers Oh yeah, Rex saying he thinks he saw a couple meteors in the meteor shower. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see any here in Hermosa Beach, California. Maybe if you look out towards the ocean, there's no lights over there, so... Jorge Soler to 199. And our autograph. That's Trey Auburn Gay. It's always a little difficulty with this name. That'll be for the Red Legs, Rick, with the Reds. Jorge Soler going to Robert and the Braves. Mm-hmm. 
And that's the first stack. Chilo's over, over God Bless America. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you hate that song. You're just like, there doesn't need to be any more singing in baseball. Let's keep playing. Let's, let's play baseball. So 150, Alex Kirilov. I don't know if Dodger Stadium does that all the time. Maybe they do. Maybe, or maybe this might just be a Memorial Day thing, which is fine. Andrew Ben, 10 to 150. And we got Lars and Newt Bar. Rick with the Rays. All right, final box coming up. Having a day in baseball. We got Luis Urias. Cranks a three run dinger in the Brewers game. Derek Hill clobbers his first home run of the season for the Tigers. Goldschmidt hits, continues his hot hit streak with 10th home run in May. Kurt Casale's tower, towering home run propels the Giants in the 10th. Alvarez and Altuve had powered the Astros past the A's. Longest home run of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Sanchez for the Marlins in their only run of the game. 496 feet. Oh, Torkelson had a three-hit game too? Nice. I read a stat somewhere that at every level that Spencer Torkelson's been on, his first half of the season, or his first part of the season, has always been terrible every time he goes to another level. And then just crushes it like the last three or four months of, of, of a season. So Spencer Torkelson is, uh, is definitely on that trajectory yet again. Yeah, it sounds like Connor's a Tigers fan. Tigers are going to surprise people later in the year. I think they're surprising people right now. That's, I think they're, they're pretty solid. 
They got a lot. They got a lot of prospects that are finally turning into players. I need. I need a. I need a. Casey Mize though to get better. He's on my fantasy team. There's Josiah Gray, former Dodgers pitching prospect. I think he had a nice start the other day. Uh, I don't think Kirkside got the call up. Maybe you're thinking about another Orioles prospect, Rushman. But maybe he did. I don't know. I haven't been really keeping up on the Orioles news. Nice. Connor's saying he got to see Torgelson in Farms team in uh, West Michigan. Nice. Is he is he as advertised? Oh, it was. You're thinking Rushman. Yeah, Adley Rushman got called up, and I think his first hit of his career, of his big league career, I think was a triple. There's Mike Yastrzemski, 5 out of 50, Carl's grandson, going to the Giants, that black and white parallel for Joshua El Canon. Jesus Sanchez, 496 foot home run. So Reed Detmers to 150. Nice one for the Angel. That's for you, Connor. Had a no no, right? Reed Detmers. And there's Orlando Arcia. 152 out of 199 for the Bravos. That's going to be for Robert. Rafael Devers, 52 out of 399. <laughs> Call the Associated Press, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news, Gilo almost hit for the cycle in MLB The Show. Call the Associated Press. Call up Reuters. Call up the BBC News Service. Hans Alboro, two hit game. Yeah, I think one of those was a home run. He's 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 been hitting the ball well when he's getting starts. Right, look out for those Gelo tops now. Almost hit for the sickle, tops now cards. And we got a Dean Kramer sepia, fifty five out of ninety nine. That'll be for Chris and the Orioles. And Rex saying, yes, Reed Detmers did have a no-hitter. Nice. And there's Akil Badu. And that's for Rick Serrano and the Detroit Tigers. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is... Is that. That was 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. Five box, half case, random team break number eight. Another random team break in the store right now. Half case from a fresh case. Check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That went to Connor, by the way, with the Nationals. Josiah Gray, I don't think I mentioned that. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next Gypsy Queen break. Bye-bye.